probably Gaga Ball or Crafts, where we would all sit at by snack track and we would make friendship bracelets or um, or leather bracelets or tie-dye shirts and just talk. <laughs> My favorite thing would be to swim because it's actually a very good exercise. You can do like, because it helps you like build leg muscles and stuff. To play Gaga Ball because I was really good at it and I like doing it. I really liked playing Gaga Ball down in the valley where we did activities because I'm a competitive person and it's fun. So my favorite thing to do is Gaga Ball because I like the adrenaline of it, of just doing things, so. We got to do campfires and we got to sing songs at the campfires. Because we got to go to the pool and we got to um, read, we got to go to the campfire and we got to read books. And I forgot the others. My favorite thing to do at camp was a lot, but basically everything but the most thing was we got to make um so our cabin teacher destiny um we were in cabin five um and we got to when we first got there when we were waiting for people to um come we got to pick our cabin i mean what bed we get to sleep on and i slept on the top and we got to make so our leader brought us like clay, air dried clay. So we made crosses out of them and then, let, and then we let them dry. And it was really fun. That when you go closer to the Lord, you get your heart, like it like gets bigger inside. I really learned that Prayer is really important because, like at first, I didn't really believe that God or Jesus was there, and I just pray and I didn't hear an answer. So when I was there, I learned that you can get an answer. That you can be anybody that you want to be, and you don't have to listen to other people and what they say about God and who you should believe. But I know who I should believe and not to believe, and I. I just know that camp has taught me something different and that was something. That you could actually, you could pray and then you would actually get an answer because I usually don't get an answer ever. Something I learned was to focus on heavenly treasure, treasures more than earthly treasures because you can't bring things to heaven with you, you can only bring people. This year, it was very focused on uh, treasures from God versus treasures on earth, uh, specifically wisdom was a lot of it, that learning where we find wisdom and what true wisdom is. We'd have morning, we'd have breakfast, we'd wake up at 7.30, have breakfast at 8, and then we'd have chapel and then clean up and then nap and then morning activities and after morning activities we'd have lunch and then we'd have evening activities and then dinner or then then after that fire so yep. I went to music and drama camp where we had rehearsals two or three times a day which was took up quite a bit but it was fun <laughs> There were two counselors per cabin. I think there were seven, seven or eight cabins. And we we ate in this huge like building called Weaver. And then when we did like afternoon activities, we went down in this place they call it the valley and there's lots of activities down there. You can do BB guns, archery, swimming, there's a pool. Um, and then nine square, all the different games. The best part about swimming is um, just a good way to have fun and do activities. And... I slept in cabin five, which was the girls' cabin. Um, we had like a bunch of girls' cabin, but 
girls cabin was really fun because we got to be with all the girls and no boys. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. And I slept on the top bunk by the door. My favorite thing about my cabin was there were there were a lot of daddy long legs in there because that's my favorite spider. We got to go swimming. We got to play goggle ball. And that was like you got to walk like five minutes away from it. We had to go down a hill, and then that's how we got to the swimming pool, the snack shack, the goggle ball place, the four corners. But it was nine corners. There was the cafeteria. Nurses spot the the cabins and that's basically all. And then for archery and like like those type of games, we just walked there. We went to the pool, so we went by the boys' cabins and we walked there. So yeah, the boys' cabin is more by. Um, the mess hall, which is where we ate and we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was really fun. We had sloppy joes. And for Sunday dessert, we got ice cream bars. Like, we got to eat spaghetti. We got to eat more tacos. We got to eat a lot more stuff. And then for the games, we got to play Gaga Ball and freeze tag and a lot more stuff. It would probably be the more you get closer to the Lord, the more your heart will grow. Um, being at camp really, when you're at camp, it's a completely different atmosphere where you can where you don't have to think about any of things on your electronics or any problems that are happening outside and you can fully immerse yourself in the word and the people around you. So I was there the last, like the last full day. Um, there was a little cross, like not a cross, um, a red chest of gold doubloons that Pastor John had had. And he like told us to take one and put it and save it for the campfire for the last night. And we did, and when we got there, there's a cross, he put the chest under the cross, and he told if you need stress, if it took off of you, you need to be closer to Jesus, you need to have Jesus in your heart, that, to go put it in there. And Jesus told me to go up there first. And I put the, when I got up there, I just like started, like I felt kind of shaky, and I fell to my, like I didn't even know I fell to my knees. And then I fell, and then I put the gold balloon in the box, and I just felt all the stress come off my shoulders. And I just started crying and crying and crying. So then, yeah, that's what happened. Absolutely, I would love to go back to camp um, because it was just so much fun. And the one thing is that you can ask for the same cabin leader that you had last year. So I'm like really excited for that. But the, it's just so nice that there's like so many kind people there and so many kind people to help us. And there is a lot of nice people. Like there's a pastor there and he was so sweet and so funny. So that's just the one reason why I really, really want to go back to camp. That's just my favorite camp that I've probably ever been. I've never been to camp before. So that was my first experience and it was really fun. So I would love to go back next year. I would like to go back because the people there were all really nice and I learned a lot. I would love to go back to Camp Moses Marrow because the camp was amazing. I met new friends I, and I had so much fun there. I would go back to Camp Moses Merrill and be the reason why is because a lot of my friends were really nice to me. I feel like it's a good experience and when people 
if there's nobody here that we that's there next year from this year we could tell them about the stories we had this year next year then. it's just so much fun i want to go back to camp Rose and Merrill because it's very fun and I love to learn about more things. And I've been doing more activities. Yes, I would like to go back to Camo's as Merrill. Um, it's the people there are very welcoming and fun and nice and you get to learn a lot about God. <laughs> <laughs>